Moira was trying to get to that tower when I was with her. Listen, honey. I need you to take me there. Can you do that? Moira. No. I don't believe it. There's no way she's... Well, the lip syncing was kind of off there, but hey guys, welcome back to my Let's Play of Resident Evil Relations 2, Episode 2 on Barry's side. So this is pretty much going to be my first try doing this. So the first time I was recording this and did a whole blind playthrough, I realized the video didn't record any of the gameplay footage, just my voice. Then the second time I was doing this, well, I died, and when I reloaded my point, the fucking stuttering in the frame rate wouldn't go away. So my guy was constantly like, you know, frame rate stuttering, which is really fucking annoying, which happened, it still happens when you load up the area, but at least within a few seconds it goes away. But when you die, it just doesn't go away. It just fucking doesn't. So you have to reload the level, which is really annoying. So yeah, this is my first time doing this. So hopefully I can avoid any deaths and stuff because I know where most of the enemies are if I don't fuck around. So did Moira drive you crazy? No. Moira was nice. <laughs> she does have a good heart. I bet she saw a little of Polly in you. That's her sister. Where'd you get that bracelet? Sure anymore. A woman. The overseer? I read the debrief about her little experiment. To only friendlies who find this, we've been abducted against our uh, will and forcibly taken to this island. Our names are Nail Fisher, Pedro Fernandez, Edward Thompson, and Gabriel Chavez. I don't have co the coordinates for our location, and I don't know if anyone else is here with us. There's something out there. I can't make out if it's human or animal. I can hear feral, vicious growling, at least multiple potential hostiles. We've been outfitted with these unusual devices on our wrists. We've got a transmission from an unknown female telling us to go to the Vosek. Not sure, if, uh, not sure on the spelling. If you're friendly who is reading this, meet us at the Vosek. Be safe and be alert. G. Chavez. I think I, I fucked up the spelling. I think it was Vosek or something like that, not Vosek, but whatever. Add some character, I guess. I also won't be playing Natalia much because in this chapter she doesn't discover a lot. Edward Thompson. He was with TerraSave. <sighs> Damn it, this is why I told her not to get involved. So most of the items you do find in this chapter are based on the sniper rifle, a few weapon upgrades, and an inventory upgrade for uh, Natalia so she can carry more stuff. And uh, 
handgun uh, pouch that increases uh, your handgun ammunition uh, cap so you can carry more ammo for the handgun, which is neat. Oh, he just spawned. Find some cover. I'll pick them off before they spot us. Goodbye, douchebag. But yeah, in, in this chapter, Natalia doesn't discover a lot of items at all for the little senses, so you'll mostly just use her to spot enemy weak spots and detect this new enemy type that you guys will see here soon. I can't just leave Natalia. You don't have to. She just caught up. Thanks to space magic. Ah. Alrighty. Up. There are the douchebags. More over there. Yes, one douche down. Come on, Barry. And two douchebags down. There's that fucking collectible that respawns for whatever reason. Damn it. I need a key. Yes, my Fuda. I'll be very careful. Come on, Natalia. In the bushes. That just sounds fucking creepy. It's not a douche down. Bottom one down. One more to go. We'll just wait for that guy to do a full, full circle. Now oh, look how cute she's purring. Come on, Sherlock. Now I'm gonna get you. It's one. Two. I kinda hate getting skill points now because I played through um Claire's first level multiple times. Since it's only like 15, 20 minutes long, but each time you complete it, you get like 7,000, 8,000 XP out of it. And that's how I managed to max out my skill tree real quick. Now all I can use these skill points for is just purchasing the uh, unlocks that I can obtain. And uh, turn it into a raid gold. So, yeah, that kind of bites. I guess that's what you get for, I don't know, cheaping out on the game. One. Two. Boy, more skill points that I don't want. Lucky me. It's 
Let's see, does it have yeah, some them respawn again? I'm definitely gonna do a video on how to find all the collectibles in the game. Let's see. Here we got our key. This should get us through. Waiting on Slowpoke to fucking get here. Need your help. Preferably before Christmas. Oh my god, really? She didn't even bother climbing up. Oh, Natalia, Natalia, Natalia. One. Two. Boy, more items I don't want. Just jump. God, what a girl. There you go. I do like that they put a sweater over her. Is that where you met Moira? Over there? Yeah, near the big tower. I gotta say, the game runs overall really good. It's just for those fucking frame rate star rings, the game just craps out. If they fix that, the game really has no performance issues. Is loading, so let's wait for that safe thing to go away. Uh, we still get a little bit of stuttering. Let's see if that fixes itself here in a second. Monster! What? Where? Barry, there's something over there. Ah, fuck. There you go. Alright, the stuttering's gone. Over there. Nope. See no evil, fear no evil. All right, Natalia. I need you <laughs> to get down on your knees. I know that just sounds totally fucked up, but <laughs> oh well. Come on, Barry. Pick this up, pick that up. There's a little chest. That's one. And two. Written in Russian. My dearly beloved, it's been a year since you left to go to work in the mines. I thank you for your service, and of course, I am thankful to the one who gave us this opportunity, the one that saved us from despair. You were supposed to be gone for only a year. That was the term, yet you have not returned. Why? But not just you. Friends or other villagers, they disappeared and never returned. I've heard rumors of poison gases and beasts and unspeakable horrors, and I don't want to say what else. I hope you return as soon as possible. I'm waiting for you. Let's combine this to that. Alright, looks like I don't have any other empty bottles on me. <sighs> My vision's getting cut. Barry! There's something right there! I don't know what you're seeing. But point me at it. It's 
getting closer. Here comes the annoying new enemy type, the stealthy type. Visible monsters. Oh, that's gonna be fun. Uh, you don't say, Barry. You don't say. The thing I hate about these new enemies is I don't mind them being an instant kill if they grab you, but what pisses me off the most about them is them just blurring your fucking image because I hate motion blur. I got motion blur turned off. I am playing this on max settings and I do have motion blur turned off because I just don't like shit fucking with my screen. I don't like motion blur. I don't like shit covering my screen, like blood splashes and crap like that. It just drives me the fuck nuts. I hate it. Hate it, hate it, hate it, hate it, hate it. Come on, Barry. Bam. Alright, let's see, is there anything for her to discover in here? I don't think there was. I mean, there's one of the larvae, which I'm going to ignore because I haven't picked any of them yet up for both chapters. Oh god, I hear that motion blur bullshit going on again. Is there anything you can discover in here? Nope. Well, I do like that uh, this is taking place in a different um, day cycle. Like, it's like, I would say, afternoonish, very cloudy. So it's not as dark. Take it, you can't spot anything. I don't even know why I toggled between her. She really just doesn't spot anything in this chapter at all. Uh. Get that bad little emblem. I think that was the uh, box I found her storage uh, inventory uh, cap increase. This one. Two. Three. And we get shotgun ammo. Okay, I don't think Barry finds a shotgun in this chapter. Not that I recall of. If he does, well, fuck me. Guess I'll keep an eye out just in case he does find a shotgun, even though I'm pretty sure he. Doesn't. Somebody really trashed this place. What the hell happened? Pedro's notes on the bracelet. The bracelet, what I've learned so far. There's a GPS tracker inside, probably for keeping tabs on where we are. It's a two-way transmitter. We can hear her, and she can hear us. The source of the transmission is coming from the center of the island, someplace high up. It's got to be that funky-looking tower. I have no doubt she's there, too. It also seems to be keeping track of the vital signs. For what purpose? She wasn't kidding when she said she infected us with a virus. Holy balls, what are we supposed to do? So apparently, uh, you can defeat Pedro and uh, his little chainsaw will, not chainsaw, his little drill will be laying here on the ground that you can pick up. So you can break that first wall uh, that you encounter with Barry here very soon. So I guess I need to do that. 
even though Barry finds the drill later on himself, but that by at that point he's already too far ahead to really go back and pop that wall. So I'm not sure what's behind that wall. There might that wall might have actually the shotgun that I missed because apparently I can find it. Now give that to Barry. There you go. You're full on that smoke stuff. Can't go through this way. Gotta go all around here. And from between the barrels. I don't know why I'm still doing that. I guess there's I guess just a habit of mine. It's getting closer. You missed. Try lower. Lower? How much lower? Oh. There you go. Douche. So, is there anything down here I can pick up? Because the path was blocked off, right? Yeah. Don't see any shinies. Nah, I don't see anything. Pretty pointless. I'm not even going to bother going in that house because I know there's nothing in there. Should be a bottle here. There always is. Yep. Combine that with... Cool. We need a firebomb. Oh, we don't need one, but I'd like to have one. This way once. Moira might have been here too. <laughs> Areas loading up. Getting some frame stuttering here and there. That's kind of annoying. Good night, Sleeping Beauty. God, the fucking stuttering still there. Oh, shit. Thought he was dead. There you go. Good night, douchebags. So, yeah, stuttering's still there. Fucking annoying. God damn it. Here comes the rain. Are you going to be warm enough? I'll be all right. So, where are your mom and dad? Oh, they died. Fucking stuttering. In Terra Grigia. You were there when the city went down? I'm sorry. None of this could have been easy. You're a tough girl. Thanks. It's on people like me to protect people like you from bioterrorists. We shouldn't have let you down. So where'd you go? Terra Safe put me in a home. A facility. I'm sorry, Natalia. I won't ask any more questions. Oh, well, now the stuttering is gone, but that's like the stuttering I was mentioning about the fucking frame rate. Like when it loads up a new area, that happens, or when you when you die, it literally does not go away. So yeah, they need to patch that like ASAP because that is so annoying, especially in raid mode. Because you go for raid mode levels real quick, so you're constantly gonna load up a new raid area. So you'll constantly have that fucking stuttering. Can't pick that up, but you can.
What's wrong? Oh, I've been waiting for you. Nothing. Here we go. Says the creep that's sniffing somebody's panties. And there goes the douche. Who's the douche? He's the douche. Said what? Come on, dickhead. There's something ahead. Be careful. It's a weak spot. Nice of them to wait for us. Oh, shit. Oh, fuck, I was getting stuck on something. There we go. Good night, douche. So anyway, um, here's the wall that I'm talking about. Be careful. So if you defeat Pedro on Claire's side, you get to pick up drill early on, meaning you'll be able to drill through this wall here. And I think if you do that, you might find the shotgun for Barry. Don't quote me on that. I'm not entirely sure, but that's what I think. Why else would they give you shotgun ammo this early? So, yeah. Can't pick that up. Gotcha. And you want to be careful here too because he can't see you. F yeah, like I said, he can see you for those little window uh, thingies. Uh, from the looks of it, that might be his leg. Am I right? Yeah. Night, sleeping beauty. Magnum ammo. Ooh, oh yeah. Pipe on is full again. Cloth. Anything else? I think that's about it. I like this area design. It reminds me a lot of old school Resident Evil. Bam. All right, Mr. Sherlock Holmes. What kind of explosives do I have on me? Just that? Fuck. Um, I'll trade you. Uh, let's see, what can I trade you for? Can you mix anything by any chance at the moment? Ah, oh, combine. Oh, herbs. Fuck that. Alright, here's the deal. I'll trade you a flaming bottle. Oh, what the fuck? Oh. Flaming bottle. You pick up my magnum ammo. Oh, come on, man! I just meant to switch, not... Fucking fro uh, fucking game. <sighs> Fuck. There we go. Good rinse, dickhead. Now at least two fucks should be coming here soon. Or there were supposed to be a. Uh, no, that's one, that's two. Hello, douchebags! <laughs> Come 
Come on, dickhead. Because I can. Bam. If I had that fucking fireball, I would have just had them both in one go. Because that's how I did it in my uh, blind player few. Oh well. Come on, Natalia. What the fuck did she go to? Jeez. It's one. Two. Ah, more skill points. I love how you see the water pouring down on, on Barry. Those clothes aren't really getting wet, so that's kind of a shame. In uh, Resident Evil 6, you actually saw Leon's uh, face and hair and stuff getting all wet. Actually, no, no, never mind. You do see it getting wet. It just took a while. Alright. That makes sense. Like, uh, you actually see the clothes getting wet too now if you pay attention to the shininess on the pants and stuff. Take this. I'm gonna ninja your ass here in a second. God damn it, man! How the f why are you this fast? What's his weak spot? The monster's coming. The arm. There we go. Oh fuck, dodge. There we go. That took way too many shots in my opinion, but... Uh, that fucking enemy type, just the way he moves is so fucking weird. I'm gonna get used to his attack or movement pattern, that way I can just... One shot is fucking old bubble like it did uh before. Uh, one of those motion blur douchebags again. Sucks. It's getting closer. Getting closer as in he noticed us? No. Stop fucking saying dumb shit. It's getting closer. Ah, he's coming around us. That's good. Barry, there's something over there. Oh, thank God. I'm I gotcha. I'm okay. Fucking hate little stealth, you guys. When I did my blind thingy, I actually just went up to him and knifed him. But the second time I did it, before the frame rate dipped down because I died, this is actually the spot I died and then the stuttering wouldn't stop. Yeah, for some reason, they fucking instantly knew I was coming up behind them. 
so the first time it worked fine, second time not so much. Smoke grenade out, I guess. Oh, nice. It's nice. Smoke grenades actually make them visible. I did not know that. So I learned something new. On the 8th of November, 2009. The late small. Ah, I already read for that on the clear side. Never mind. One. Two. Uh, skill points. Gay. Even more skill points. Even gayer. Gunpowder. around like a douche. Nah, nothing. Not a thing in here. Still as pointless as ever. So the way this works is you basically, eh, you'll find out here in a second. It's actually really simple. Now if I'm remembering collect, uh, correctly, there should be an enemy type down here. That respawned. Unless it just happens when she's already on. Yeah, I think it happens when she's already on the other side, putting something uh. Stay there. Gotcha. Against the thing. Going through that. Not through there, though. I want to check through any items. I wish she had a flashlight. She could use one. Alright, now I gotta wait for Barrett at that switch. And there we go, now it's spawned. Come with me. I'm coming. Are you actually coming? Cool. Oh, well, you were taking your sweet ass time. Oh, she's probably gonna get attacked by the thing since I said follow. Or not, she just Fucking went right by it. Ah, it noticed her though. It's getting closer. There, help. It's getting closer. There, help. It's getting closer. I don't know how much closer. Like, this is not helping. Oh, I see it. Oh, it's flying. Alright. I did not know they could fly. Interesting. Nothing down here? No. I shouldn't go on ahead. Fuck me. Follow me. I can't. 
Ah, oh, what do you mean you can't? Fucking slow poke. Kids, I tell you. I don't want to go by myself. Now that we reach this point. It's Penny Sniffer again. So is there an item she can discover? Probably not. This is where I met Moira. Good. Let's pick up the pace. Here's another spot. This is the spot you need to use the drill at to continue on. It's dead. I'll have to find another way. Written Russian. Things have changed so much since she came here. Or Sabichi, whatever the fuck. It's almost like a completely different island now. There's new equipment in the mines, and the jobs, not the just laborers, but she's employing people as researchers as well. There's so many employment opportunities. I cannot express my gratitude to her deeply enough. Despite this, there's loads who doubt her. Such ingrates. If you don't like it, you always are free to leave this place. Bam. So I realized uh, this door can only be opened up with a crowbar, which is weird. Either I missed that somehow when I was playing the clear campaign, or I opened it up already and just didn't save. Not sure which one it might be. Or maybe I have to revisit the split, uh, spot later on in the game in Chapter 3 or something. I don't know. Could be anything. Who's there? Keep it down. Just like Barry said, keep it the fuck down. You don't shout out. When you know there are fucking monsters out there. There's one up, ah, uh, right upstairs. Come on, Barry. It's getting closer. Not anymore, it is. It's fucking dead. Barry. What is up with the fucking AI all of a sudden being stupid just standing still? My precious. Anyway, that is where we need to go anyway, but before we do that, let's go downstairs and clear the other room out. Take this. Oh, shit. Alright, never mind. Guess we don't go for this door yet. Oh, it's locked from the other side. I'm gonna ammo. Use all the ammo we can get right now. Written in Russian. Uh, your father hasn't come at home. Uh, bleh, your father hasn't come home at all since going to the monument. I tried to wait, but I cannot do it any longer. I've gone off to look for him. 
I was feeling pretty obnoxious, but everything, uh, everyone there was so nice to me. They told me uh, uh, something nasty was going around, so they gave me a prevention shot and this bracelet. They said it would help protect me. This place is so large and wondrous. I've never seen anything like it. Of course, this is probably no big deal for her. She saved our island. I'm starting to feel like she can't do anything. I regret ever having doubted, doubted her. I suppose it's nothing, but I have this... Uh, but I've been feeling a bit dizzy late. Uh, but yeah, a bit dizzy. <laughs> Maybe I'm just stressed. Oh, and I finally found your father. Well, part of him anyway. I always knew he had a good head on his shoulders. Now that's all that's left on him. I can't possibly bring him back like this. The bracelet has been making strange sounds. It's a little annoying, but don't worry. I'm going to find the rest of your father and we're coming home. You must be so hungry. So that's kind of fucked up. So I guess she just doesn't want to look over her. Chopped off husband, which is really fucked up, but okay. Oh, I remember this. Natalia has to go through this little hole and open up the door. Wait for it to come. Gotcha. Huh, unlocked achievement. Uh oh, there's an emblem here. Guess I already had that one too. Anything else we can pick up here? I take that as a no. Nothing I can really combine. Actually, give me those explosive bottles that I don't have anymore. Fuck. Guess I just have to rely on my weapons. from the other side. Wait. Well, that's one hell of a parking job. Good job, Barry. Now everybody knows we're there. Ah, oh, shit, there's an empty bottle. Discard that red herb for a second. Empty bottle. I want something that burns. Wait, what the fuck does alcohol and. Uh. Oh, alcohol and cloth, alright. Never mind, I don't want any of that then. Ah. Uh. I'll pick up that red herb here in a bit after I get rid of my explosive bottle. Oh no!
Dude, it's not so easy to shoot those little glowing things off them. Oh, he's still alive. Oh god. Fuck me, that hurt. There we go, now he's not, uh, dead. Now you get to pick up the drill again. Well, this should give us a whole lot more options. Uh, I think that's about all that's here, wasn't there? Unless you can discover something. Down we go. So you gotta beat him on Clear's part to open up that one door because you're not gonna keep the drill when you uh, start this chapter up again. I just realized I forgot about my red herb, but ah, fuck it. Hello there, sir. Oh, magnum ammo. Me and Moira got separated here. The nice guy came and got me. Nice guy? One from Parasite who rescued me. I wonder if Moira made it to the tower. She made it. Come on, let's see what we can find. Yep, here we go. Frame rate starting again. All right, now it's gone. Sometimes it loads up real quick. Sometimes it's just really slow. Yeah. Pretty creepy, huh? January 24th, 2010. Trials of T-Pos virus is almost complete. We've managed to reduce the lethality of the T-virus uh, while creating a condition that triggers upon the target being subjected to strong emotional trauma. We have also lowered the rate of the viral resistance to below 2%. All is proceeding as planned. However, the time draws near. We are close to perfection, but there's zero margin for error. One, two. Now oh, there's another note. You poor, decrepit old man. You want to create a new world and rule over that world as a god, but for all your ambition, you can overcome man's most formidable enemies, age and disease. You had everything, but your crumbling body betrayed you. And then your own son snuffed out whatever pitiful entrails of your life you had left, leaving you to become nothing more than a footnote. In uh, the annals of history, you failed, old man. But well, fear not. Your dream will live on. I will take on the wealth of knowledge, power, and test subjects you have given me, and succeed where you have failed. I will create a new world, and will rule over it as a god. Your legacy will have been long forgotten, but mine has only just begun. May your soul, if you ever had one, rot in torment. 
for all eternity, and left, uh, let the hell be filled for the sound of your teeth gnashing uh, incessantly. Sounds like something Wesker, right? Scary. I can't stand her. Who? The woman here with Wesker? That is Wesker. Alex Wesker. Two Weskers? You gotta be shitting me. <laughs> so you finally came. I knew you would. Natalia. Next time on Revelations 2. Wait. This is Moira's. No. No sign of her. Uh, of course this factory had to be a fucked up factory. She's responsible for the experiment six months ago. Oh, it's got all our names on it. I'll crush you. Where did we go wrong? Where's Moira? Oh, 